Good morning to you. It is Wednesday, June 29th. I'm Taylor Torres and I'm Brandi Cummings. Here's a look at the top stories we're following today. We are keeping a close eye on a wildfire out of Nevada County. This fire started yesterday afternoon near the community of Bridgeport. It grew to over 500 acres. That's forcing evacuations and threatening homes. The Nevada County Office of Emergency Services opened a temporary evacuation point at the Madeline Helling Library. That's on Helling Way in Nevada City. Of course, we will continue to follow this wildfire and have live reports throughout the morning. A Turlock woman says she was attacked by a delivery driver in her home. Her husband stopped by their Turlock home last Friday during work day and saw an Amazon delivery driver outside of their front door. She says that driver tried to attack her. That's when Turlock police say he broke a bedroom window to get into the home again. Turlock police say the driver has been booked into county jail. Sacramento Mayor Daryl Steinberg has sent an official letter to a city council member asking him to agree to an independent fact finding inquiry about where he lives. Council member Sean Lalowe represents District 2, but residents in that area say he doesn't actually live there. After he provides the city with a report to clarify where he lives, it will be presented publicly at a city council meeting. Let's get a check on the forecast. Here's meteorologist Melanie Hunter. We had eight straight days of triple digits, and luckily we are done with that this morning. It feels pretty comfortable. 62 in downtown Sacramento, but we have a widespread of temperatures from 45 in Truckee to 70 in Modesto. Clear conditions really help to cool us off overnight. Those clear conditions are going to help to warm us, although we're not going to get hot today. Here's how today is going to go. Upper 60s by about 9 o'clock. It'll feel more comfortable at noon today near 85 and eventually our highs top out in a range of the 90s, 95 the forecasted high in downtown Sacramento before we get more of that southwest breeze this evening. And that's a look we're following today here on KCRA 3.